This is Daily Armenia, CivilNet's daily news digest. Here's what's making headlines in Armenia today. Azerbaijan has dropped its demand for Armenia to open an extraterritorial corridor from talks over a normalization agreement, a special representative of President Ilham Aliyev has announced. On mutual agreement, we decided to take this paragraph out of the peace agreement and to refer it to a later stage, Elchin Amirbayev told Radio Free Europe Radio Liberty in an exclusive interview published yesterday. Since the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh war, Baku has repeatedly called on Yerevan to open an extraterritorial corridor to connect mainland Azerbaijan and its Nehechivan exclave through Armenia's strategically important southernmost Sunak region. Referred to as the Zanzigur Corridor, that potential route had become one of the major obstacles in years-long efforts to reach a normalization deal. Armenia quickly confirmed the development, with Ani Badalyan, the spokesperson for the country's foreign ministry, telling the state-run Armen Press News Agency yesterday that the article related to regional communications was removed from the draft of the peace agreement by mutual consent. Azerbaijan has withdrawn from a military post within Armenian territory near the village of Berkaber. The village's mayor, Tigran Haratunyan, has confirmed to RFERL. They left quite a while ago. I believe it was in early July. They vacated their position and now our border guards are stationed there, Haratunyan told the outlet yesterday. CivilNet has not independently confirmed the development. Located in Armenia's northeastern Tavush region, Berkaber lies in one of the areas affected by a landmark April agreement to demarcate part of the Armenia-Azerbaijan border. Azerbaijan had previously controlled some 900 hectares of Berkaber's land for over 30 years. As part of the demarcation agreement, Yerevan and Baku agreed to withdraw their militaries from a section of the border between Tavush and Azerbaijan's northeastern Gazakh district and allow for border guards to be redeployed there. In practice, the agreement saw Armenia give up its defenses around four abandoned villages that had been part of Soviet Azerbaijan but left nearby areas of Armenian territory under Azerbaijani occupation largely unaddressed. Berkaber was the only military post Azerbaijan was obligated to withdraw from. That prompted extensive criticism of Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan in Armenia and led to a protest movement headed by Bagrat Galstanyan, the Archbishop of Tavush, who marched to Yerevan in May and demanded Pashinyan's resignation before a crowd of tens of thousands. Pashinyan largely ignored the movement and it lost its momentum over the subsequent weeks, though Galstanyan has indicated protests will resume in September. By withdrawing from Berkaber, Baku appears to signal it aims to adhere to the demarcation deal. European Union observers have visited the flashpoint border village of Nurkin Hand in Armenia's southernmost Sunik region for the first time following the June withdrawal of Russian forces from the area. Yesterday, we carried out a successful patrol to Nurkin Hand in southern Armenia to assess the humanitarian and security situation by the Armenia-Azerbaijan border, the European Union mission in Armenia said in a post today on the social platform X. The visit is notable as Russian troops had previously denied the monitoring mission access to the village, including in February, when clashes with Azerbaijani forces nearby left four Armenian service members dead. The Kremlin had troops on the Armenia-Azerbaijan border from 2020 until earlier this year, when Pashinyan and Russian President Vladimir Putin agreed to withdraw them at a May meeting in Moscow. The EU deployed unarmed civilian observers to Armenia last February. Two athletes representing Armenian Greco-Roman wrestling have each won a medal at this year's Summer Olympics in Paris, bringing the country's total medal count to three. Artur Alexanian's 1-4 loss in the finals to Iran's Mohamed Hadi Saravi yesterday earned him not only a silver medal, but also a momentous distinction. He is now the first ethnic Armenian in history to win medals at four separate Olympic Games. Meanwhile, Malkha Samoyan won bronze yesterday in a close-fought 6-5 match against Aram Vardanyan representing Uzbek. The match pitted Amoyan, an Armenia-born ethnic Yazidi, against Vardanyan, an ethnic Armenian. The medals come after gymnast Artur Davtian took home a silver over the weekend in men's vault, marking Armenia's first medal win of the Games. Armenia has the chance for one more medal in Greco-Roman wrestling, with Slavik Galstian set to compete in the bronze medal match for his weight class tonight. For more political analysis, take a look at former Foreign Minister Vartan Oskanyan's latest column for CivilNet, where the veteran diplomat argues Armenia must redefine its national interests following the loss of Nagorno-Karabakh last year. You can find the full op-ed up now on our website at civilnet.am or through the link in the video description below.
And finally, the civil net number of the day is 3. That's the number of weightlifters who will be competing for Armenia at the Paris Olympics starting tomorrow. They are Andranik and Garik Karapetyan and reigning European champion Varazdat Lalayan, who each compete in separate weight classes. As always, please follow CivilNet for the latest news and independent reporting from our contributors on the grounds here in Armenia.